Computers have allowed us to achieve amazing things. From global communication to breakthroughs in medicine, computers form an integral part of our lives. However, computer science is much more than learning how to use a computer. Computer science involves communicating with the computer to get it to do some work for us. And we do that by programming. We instruct the computer with a set of instructions to tell it what to do. And as a computer scientist, you have to learn programming languages. You then instruct the computer what to do to solve the problem that you're currently working on. And it could be a maths problem, it could be a stats problem, it could be any type of problem, but we use computers to solve it. The world as we know it would be a very different place if it wasn't for computer science. Think about it. Without computer science, there would be no internet, cell phones, medical devices, and artificial intelligence. We wouldn't even know how old the universe is. I don't think it would be possible to exist in a world without computer science. People don't necessarily think that there's computer scientists behind all those systems, but they are. We've had fantastic inventions with medicine, with artificial intelligence, uh, astronomy, everything. Um, computer science is generally behind it. One of the main thrusts at UKZN is the intensive curriculum that focuses on computer programming. What we do at university is we teach you how to program. We don't teach you how to use a computer, we teach you how to program. You learn several languages along the way and by the end of it you have done an advanced programming course. You are prepared to go into postgraduate work and do research as well as go out into industry. A lot of our students find jobs immediately without doing a postgraduate degree and they generally become programmers or systems analysts. Computer science there, it involves two aspects, there's the practical and the theoretical component and to support the theoretical component we have practicals, they are generally on a weekly basis and students are required to complete some task by the time the next practical comes around and that is where the theory gets put into practice it's where you do the hands-on training which is ultimately what you would be doing when you leave university the first practical that we have of the year we actually teach basic programming so students first introduction to programming is getting robots to navigate through a maze and this is always a great introduction because they have a little bit of theory we teach them the basics of programming and then within three hours the students have successfully, hopefully, successfully got the robots to navigate through a maze. My name is Andy Lekomede. I am a master's student at the Department of Computer Science at the University of KwaZulu-Natal. My research interest encompasses image processing and computer vision and currently my master's project involves uh, facial recognition. When I was doing my first year at UK Z10, the first year modules uh, really reaffirmed my passion about computer science and that's where I realized that this is what I wanted to do for the rest of my life and I ended up completing my degree, migrating to the honors program of which this was excellent and then now I'm currently uh, enrolled at master's level. As a computer scientist, there are many career options that you could explore. Computer science often complements most other disciplines in the workplace. There's endless career opportunities. If you want to go work in a bank, which some students want to go do, then you, there's definitely an opportunity for you to go work in a bank. Other students are passionate about psychology, and then they could go and do psychology in computer science. So we find that if you are interested in one particular discipline, there's generally a career involving computer science and that other discipline. To study computer science at UKZN, a minimum APS score of 30 points is required with maths, English, life orientation and either physics, life sciences or agricultural sciences. Visit our website for more information. The best way to determine if you are good, potential good computer scientist is if you get given a problem and you don't want to be told the answer. If you want to sit there and solve it for yourself and you tell everybody to keep quiet if they know the answer, then generally you would make a good computer scientist.